I don't have to leave. Flaming Hot Cheetos versus Mega. He actually opts to go. I have not seen his, her, his, his meat fighter, the girl. So, yes. I have never seen, is that the Nintendo Labo? With the, um, with the arms? It is. That is such a, this, the thing I hate about playing meat fighters, which they're good, they're, they're great characters, they're cool. But the thing I don't like, is I have to remember what every single move can do and how it works, and the unfamiliarity will get me. That's the scary part. Did I say Flaming Hot Cheetos? I said I meant Flaming Hot Vegitos. My bad. Yo, he's, <laughs> he's wait. How are how are you in how are you, how are you in Twitch chat when you're playing? Does it actually kill? Oh, it does. You know, it's actually probably a very good move, especially against DK, just the angle and how it works in terms of going off stage and kind of coming from above on, like, Donkey Kong's up B. It's kind of a good option for sure. So this is interesting, because Mega actually plays Incineroar. Someone who kind of just like uh, waits, he tries to play up close, and like has to wait for you to come towards him because he can't really approach. But this character is kind of faster paced, you can actually go in a lot more. So it's, it's it's interesting to see. Ooh, nice air dodge in. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta turn it back around. That almost broke his shield. Wow! Catches the roll on both sides. Option coverage. I think he was just too scared to give an offensive move, considering how low his shield was, and he just kind of wanted to get out of there. So, because he couldn't stay in place, he have to either, you know, spot dodge it. Literally, just get away. Let me try. Here we go. Incineroar. Now this is, I think his Incineroar is his better character. I could be wrong, because he definitely, he definitely gave me a run for his, for my money, on Monday. Very intimidating character. If if you don't know what to look for in this character, he can be very scary. Right off the bat, within the first seven seconds, over 50%. Look at this. He's definitely, I feel like this is definitely his main. It has to be. Nice grab. Get the conversion. Keep him in the air. All right, we got the revenge. Ooh. Ooh. That was, tell me if I'm using the proper terminology. Was that a frame trap? Because he already committed to one option and he couldn't really do anything after the tag in. I would think so. Back throw, up throw, not yet. If he had revenge, he would have killed. Okay. Nice. You guys see that thing on Twitter with Incineroar, how he can like use neutral B off stage and jump and do it, and when he j when he slides against the stage, oh, he can't make it back. Um, that's actually. This makes me think that if Donkey Kong can get the right angle with that cargo throw, it's going to be very hard for him to get back. But there's a thing with like neutral B, he jumps off stage and he does a rising one with neutral B and it makes him kind of boost a little bit slightly, have momentum as he rises against the stage. So it's like constant hitboxes with like invincible arms for like a huge amount of time. So it's like, a, it's crazy for option coverage. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Bam, almost there, okay. Tries to get for two frame. That's nice down smash. Good coverage. The thing about that neutral B is you need disjoint 
typically to punish it because the end lag is deceptively low, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I feel like a lot of them offer down smash as soon as they finish it. And it's like the window to punish and having the ability to punish is wow. <laughs> that was sick. He just went for it. Okay. The Donkey Kong's having, having none of it, dude. Nice. Okay, anyone's game. You know, the more I watch this, I think DK does well in this matchup because his his option ooh, his option for grabs. Ooh, that was the way to go. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. Does he go for DK punch? Oh. He has to commit. Okay. Nice jump. Ooh. Dude, I'm so, I'm so nervous for both of them. Okay. Okay. One good hit from either per That's it. Well done. Game three, baby. Good catch. Because that could have gone either way. One win in neutral in that situation was a win for either character. What's up, Axia? Where are we going? Let's we'll save. They're probably sticking. Yep. Back to Battlefield. Battlefield must be a great save for Incineroar. Okay. Oh, he's got him juggling here. Nice. He was. He had to commit. Not. Nah, that was a risky air dodge. Any uh, any little bit of off on the timing for those frames. He was dead. Oh, he wasn't dead, but like too much damage. Invincible arms, baby. Nice back air. Nice backwards A. Okay. Ooh. The thing I like about uh, Flaming Hot Vegito's is when he does re-grab ledge after not touching the stage, he tends to mix up his options. He doesn't, like, one time he did jump, but now he did roll. So he's not playing, like, in a consistent pattern for his opponent to read him. Nice F tilt. Even it up. So you can see a little bit of adaptation. Ooh. No, he's fine. He's got a, these guys are nice. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, patience. Oh, he's getting a little bit hasty. Ooh, he's getting really good with those spot dodge um, options. The thing about, um, the thing why I think Battlefield might be really good, because even if um, Incineroar does jump side B very close to the ground, he can grab you on the platform and he can grab you if you're grounded or in the air, in, like anywhere in that zone. So it kind of is, I guess, a good approach to him. Nice, got the invincibility. Okay. Oh, this is Mega has all the momentum here. Okay. How's he gonna? Ooh. Oh, I think I juggled. Yep. Oh, yeah. This is this is game. You know what? Don't count him out yet, man. Okay. See, still in the game, baby. One, one twenty-one. Just needs a, uh, a good. Five or six strings and not get hit by anything strong. It is doable. Maybe not. Here we go. What? Oh! No! No! Oh my, oh my god. He actually almost got it. Yo! This is good. Yo, he actually brought it back. Ooh! Dude, one side B and you're dead. One side B. He has to, he has to go. He had to do that. Oh my god. This is. This is anybody. Ooh. Baby. Here we go. Ooh. <gasps> Yo, he had to. That was great. That was really good. That was, that was kind of like how when I was playing against him. It was that close. That was sick. Good stuff to Mega.
he almost brought it back, dude. Had me sweating. Look at him. It's like, oh, just another day at Wednesday Night Fights. Nothing, nothing, nothing too big. That was insane, dude. That was awesome. No, I think I have to play on stream. All right, man. I hope you guys enjoy the